Chris, what impact will this have on, on audiences in the islands? Because Tangata Pacifica is being affected here as well, so is Fresh. So, you know, what, how would people in the islands react to this kind of decision? Oh, look, both in the islands and in the New Zealand community, um, Tangata Pacifica has been going for 27 years now. They rely on that, uh, people up and down the country, to get their fix of current affairs. And I think that's an important thing. These are current affairs shows. Uh, and what we should be having is the types of the show in Tangata Pacifica that go out and challenge and question. And my concern is that if they are going to be outsourced, you might not necessarily have that motivation to go and question anymore because you're not going to be in-house and have the support of all those, um, the, the experience experience uh, and also the resources that you have uh, right now um, because if you're going to outsource these things and they're going to be independent productions you might not have that editorial independence that we've got you know this show and Tonga to Pacifica should be challenging people like me and if mm. they are outsourced then I think we're, I'm worried about the public service aspect uh, that these shows may no longer be able to provide New Zealanders. Is Te Maungai Paho and TVNZ working together in this strategy? Do you think that this has been going on for quite a long time? Oh, look, it, it, all, it all does come back to the money um, and TVNZ does have an obligation to have Māori programming uh, under uh, its wing um, under the TVNZ Act mm. um, but it's about the depth uh, you know, what kind of resources do you have for production? Uh, what kind of questioning are you going to have? And if, if, if it's going to be outsourced, both for the Māori programming and the Pacific programming, I don't think you're going to get the kind of questioning of people like me and anyone else uh, that's important in our communities that we seriously need to make sure uh, that our communities are being uh, properly looked after. Mm. It's obvious that you're going to be doing stuff in Parliament about this, Chris, but what about Marama, you and Tūrero? Are you at the table, the government table? If anything, what do you intend to do go, to go forward? Well, you know, some of this is a little difficult. These are management decisions, and people um, jump up and down when there's political interference, as is uh, what's been assumed in the um, Māori TV situation. And then they jump up and down when there's not enough political interference. And so we need to tread carefully about not getting too involved into the management of something. Mm. But definitely, I think our, our role is around that purpose, that vision. Um, where is the place of Te Reo Māori? Where is the place of Māori broadcasting and documenting our history. Now, if we have to go into a competitive market where you're buying TV programming because of its ratings pool, and um, here we've seen today that Marae is one of the highest rating shows already, mm. but if we have to go into a competitive market, what are we going <coughs> to be competing against? Mm. Um, and I've said it before, fluff and titillation, is that where we're going <coughs> to go? And if yeah. that's not what this programming is about, this programming is about our iconic stories that are ours to be recorded and um, find their place in history and archived for our people. Mm. You know, some of that is not going to compete with a blockbuster. Mm -hmm. Q, Marama asked the question, what is the place of te reo Māori in mainstream broadcasting? Where do you think that place is? Does it have a place in mainstream broadcasting or should we hand everything uh, over I, to Māori no, television? I think it does. Actually, to be honest, I don't think mainstream television is the natural home for Māori language shows of, um, you know, uh, high content Māori language shows like Waka Huia um, specifically and maybe Marae as well. The more natural home seems to be Māori television but outweighing that I think is the um, symbolic nature of having these shows on the mainstream network and also the responsibility that our um, state broadcaster has to represent <coughs> in, um, our culture mm. and our language on air. Mm. Well, what would you like to see ha happen now, Toy, going into the future? Uh, well, I think the reality is it's it's heading down the path that it's heading. Mm. TVNZ is is heading towards the, the, the media future. It's we don't have a state broadcaster. It's it, that's gone. Um, I would like to see um, Māori Television, I, I guess, pick that up because it's just going to have to. Mm. Really, that's reality, and we're going to have to get over it mm. uh, because it. We've been told, and we hate to be reminded, but we've been told we're of no value, mm, mm. really. Mm. And because they have to they have to meet their budgets, they're here to return a profit to the government. Under the current government, uh, we know where they're going in terms of state asset sales, mm. uh, unless Labor put, get their act together and the left managed to <laughs> ho hobble something together. <laughs> yeah, we're we're going to get your act together. <laughs> something together so that we actually have a national broadcaster because I think it is it is really important. Yeah, it, we're, we're we're a nation and we have to reflect who we are as a nation and not have a homogenised view of who we are. Mm. Like I said, I was told by Parkia mm. how Māori should look and sound. Mm -hmm. To me, that was a real issue. There's still a lot of details we don't know yet. Personally, I'm going to wait and see what the outcome is of discussions between Te Māngai Pahu and um, TVNZ. I actually have a lot of confidence in Te Māngai Pahu. Because so. mm. at the end of the day, Māngai Pahu and TVNZ are going to make the decision about which production companies get 
you know, Marae, get Wakahuya, get Tangata Pacifica. Are you interested in applying here? You, you've got a production company. Would that interest you? Well, absolutely, because uh, the point I made before, which is I think um, if they are outsourced, they need to go to a safe um, pair of hands, both technically and culturally. I'm not saying I'm the only safe um, set of hands around, but, um, yeah, for that reason, I'll mm. definitely put my hand up. And, Chris, finally, is, is this an issue that Labour might pick up and run with in Parliament over the next few weeks, the next few months? Yeah, absolutely, B both for those communities. But it, it starts another debate about whether or not we do need another public broadcasting channel, non-commercial, which just happens to be uh, election policy. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you'll get your act together. As Toy Eti has just said, Labour needs to get their act together. So all the best for you guys in Parliament. And Marama, congratulations on becoming the, the, the co-leader of the Māori yeah. Party. That just happened over the weekend. Congratulations. And uh, yes, well, mihia, mihia tu kia koe. And also, Q. Uh, toi, ngā mihi ki a kōrua, ko tai mai nei kōrua ki tēnei uh, hōtaka i tēnei ata. Koutou katoa, ko rangatira te hōtaka nei o marai a koutou. Me o koutou whakaaro rangatira tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou.